Welcome back to an episode of We are going to the next area, which is called Rizza Falls. So let's check that one out. The engraving system. Well, no. Got that much already. Whoa, that thing is huge. And we got even more mail. Of course, we got and this one and this one. The thing is, I don't know if... Yeah, okay, all of them are still open. So, always have to check if some of them are... Whoa, what happened here? Jesus. Anyway, uh, I always have to check if there are some ominous about that open town. slots there. We won't let our guard down. Enough. Ready. So, let's talk to the researcher, Vina. Our food supply is delayed. The financial branch uh, approved our request a long time ago. Why isn't our food here yet? We don't have time to wait any longer. Can point fingers later, but first we need to cope with this situation. Fortunately, this place is abandoned in nourishing white cacti. Let's collect their fruits and flowers and make food from them. And please, collect white cactus fruits and flowers, refrigerate them with an instant coolant and deliver them to Gilzia in the central observatory. Hmm. Oh, you nice. must be the inspector. Indeed. I got the message from HQ. Let me brief you on the situation. The technologists, no, uh, Krause's royal guards have occupied this area. My men and I are doing our best, but so far we were only able to reclaim the observatory. Since Parliament declared them traitors, they've been desperate, probably thinking there's no turning back now. Before we launch all out war, we must cover all the basics. Our top priorities are the supply depot in the central observatory and power supply to the place. We must defeat the mercenaries hired by the royal guards to secure a supply route, and then find and turn on the power unit that supplies power to the central observatory. When you are done, please report to Tilda in the advance party and good luck, Inspector. There's something ominous about that tower. Hmm. Strangely enough, both of those teleport points are really close together. And... Oh, come on! Really? There we go, let's get the fruit. And... This one over here. I mean, you could just get both of them, right? Like... One's for the cactus flower, and one's for the fruit, right? Right, 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 right. So, let's move these fellows in. And I think I was. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't even shoot them fast enough. It's bullshit. Alright. Ugh, oh, damn it. Okay, so we got the flowers at least. Perfect. Now, what's the other stuff I need to do? We need to refrigerate it a little bit. Uh, my hands are so cold. Oh, every time. So, nope, nope, nope. That was the wrong one. There we go. It's not even a device. We just do it with an instant coolant. Pretty interesting. Now... Let's see what we got down here. Maybe that's a... Oh, Okay. So, uh, I need to defeat five of those fellas. Uh, that's just one. No. Okay, we got 10%. Uh, no, this is not the right one. So, what do I have to defeat? Probably these fellas here. Uh, okay. No, this is also not it. Water supply. Maybe it's this thing. Ah, okay. Good. Now we know. Just have to find... Oh, a Mokoko. Come on, pick it up. Oh, no. So, that one is at least almost done. Uh, where's the... Okay, this is the other supply. Oh, this mission is stupid. That sucks. Because you can't just uh, simply round it up fast enough. Alright, that's that. And we need more of the water supply stuff. Where are you? Is there one down here? No. Um, 
This one. Alright, next up. This thing up here. And then we just check the one we picked first time around. Uh, this one. There we go. Okay. So it does somewhat work, but uh, not in the way one thinks, of course. Oh, come on. You can't even call your horse. So, now what is this one all about? Activate the power supply? Yes. Got it. Uh, we just need to report back to... Oh, there's a secret dungeon. Ah, neat. Let's get in that. Why not? <laughs> just by sheer coincidence, we found another entrance. Perfect. Secrets of Arthur T. Ooh. That one looks somewhat Egyptian. Oh, come on. And... Whoop. So, let's see. How quickly can we defeat this fella? Dr. Bergstrom's fang. Fairly quick. That's decent. Now then. Uh, huh. But the items that we got weren't as potent. What do we have here? Fortitude, precise dagger. It's like a crit or something. Uh, oh, nope. That's the wrong one. And let's get out of here. <laughs> Shoo! That was one of the few. Uh, I need to get the other one, which is somewhere up here in the northern part, I think. Wait a minute. Da -da -da -da. Uh, I think it's somewhere over here. They just kind of rotated the area slightly. Oh, did they? Wait a minute. No, this is not it. Um... This is not it. Ah, there we go. So somewhere over here, somewhere up here, there's this second entry. And then there's one uh, in this little zip zip So right here, so there's one here, there's one there. Good. Too bad you can't, hmm, you can't place a location, or can you? View my location, share destination. Uh, oh, that is nice. You can go back immediately, and this is a... Uh, uh, share destination, this one. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> anyway, we can uh, keep this one down here. Maybe it stays there for a little longer. Uh, and then there's, of course, the treasure map thing with the zigzag pattern thing. Uh, zigzag stuff is not here, though. So we have to go and uh, check another place. And this looks like I need... Yeah, I could get more barrage out of it, can't I? Yeah, more barrage. Just one more, maybe. So let's get this one. Da -da -da -dee, da -da -da -doo -da. Nice. So, four more to go. And we are pretty good. Right. How do I check that? Actually, mm, I should check around this place first. And then I can check all of the western parts real quick. Just to get everything going. Uh, nothing up there. always can hit off of your horse even if the thing is not a channeled ability only thing that it does is uh, what that happens here is that it kind of takes a little bit of time and that's it uh, I want it to be instant 
That would be neat. Much nicer. Anyway, I just going forward to the north, and then I check out this part down here that's somewhat related to a mission. Hmm. What do we have there? Boy. Strange. Could be an entrance, or maybe a teleportation point. Quite weird. Uh, what is this? Destination sharing notice. Ah. But how do you share multiple destinations? Not just one, but let's say five of them also. And there's another one of those teleporters. Maybe you're given a device in order to trigger that. That would be neat. Um, da -da -de oh. There's... A strange scorpion. Hmm, how many more do we need to get? Four. Or five? Uh, five, yeah. Somewhere there's one. Da -da -dee, da -da -da -dee. What's this? Plus 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 plus. <laughs> you need this one and 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 then you can do damage. Uh, not before. Also not after. Hmm, but yeah, I, th wait a minute. I did get those uh, keys sometimes as a result for quests uh, and some other times as a result for, or as, a, as a reward, actually. Hmm. For finishing dungeons, right? And there's another one. That's weird. Maybe it is all interconnected. Who knows? So, let's check up on that location. So, Tilda. The supply route has been secured, and the power is back on. Hmm. Good job, Inspector. Now our rear will be covered once reinforcements arrive. Inspector, please. Head for the central observatory so you can operate in the front lines. Adjutant Sido will be waiting for you there. And we sold a wee bit more. Ooh. Epic tale of Sian. The thing is, um, some of that didn't get sold, which is quite iffy. And yeah, the reason for it could like have been the ping. Oh, no, no. Let's hope that this doesn't happen again. Hmm. We brought this because the regulator's food supply is being delayed. No, you brought this, not we. <laughs> White cactus, fruits and flowers. Ah, good. I'll have my team process and turn them into combat rations right away. I thought everyone knew how important this operation was. It seems not everyone in Parliament has learned their lesson. No, no, no. Mm. I didn't know what it was for. I need two more of those. And what is this? Combat engraving in oh yeah, okay. So we're going for barrage. <laughs> I am the Lord of Death, uh, the destroyer of worlds. And this one. So let's get both of these thingies. Oh no, wait, what? Oh Skeptrum, forgive me. Oh wait, it says 18, <laughs> so I can get one more. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay. You know nothing. There we go, 19. Hmm. Yeah, barrage. Ah, it's so iffy. Come on. So close. Uh, and then all of a sudden I do get another one. Uh, oh, wait a moment. This is a blue thingy. This is a blue thingy. This one is combat. So which one could I utilize this on? Um, either heavy armor or all out attack. Doesn't really matter right now. Huh, sadly, it's heavy armor. But no, I'm going to max out the one that I have maxed out before. So yeah, all out attack, of course. All out attack. Somewhere at the bottom, I think. There we go. This one. And get this. Perfect. Right. What about this one? Uh, fortitude and some other stuff. Was it cursed dagger? No. It was something something dagger. Precise. 
Uh, e precise dagger. Critical rate goes up and crit damage goes down. Isn't this the same as one of the other ones? No, it was crit damage. <gasps> or something. Or like crit, yeah. Damage goes down entirely, but crit rate goes up. So you can get uh, 20%, mm, like this one. And then you have, let's say, where's the other one? Um, was it Crushing Fist? No. Awakening Fortitude Heavy Armor MP. That was definitely was something uh, with bonus damage in here. I just don't know which one it was. Um, it could have been Keen Blunt Weapon. Yeah, that's it. Plus 20, no, plus 10% or whatever, 50% in this case, crit damage, but your attacks have uh, a chance to deal, ah, it, a chance to deal damage minus 20%, a chance, that's kind of weird. Uh, but this one increases only the uh, critical damage, but not the uh, critical chance, which is a bit iffy. I thought there was another one that also improves crit, so you can utilize both of them for maximum crit. It would have been sweet. But anyway, we need to survive, of course. So, sit all. There you are, Inspector. Hmm. Our advanced party is doing its best, but they're not strong enough to suppress the Royal Guards on their own. As things stand, it'll be difficult to secure a path to the Verdant here. We need you to step in and turn the tables. We'll have to eliminate their commanders if we want to cement our victory. A while ago, a unit of regulators rescued that old man. We couldn't send him to Stern because of all the fighting. When the situation with the Verdant here changed, he started acting really unstable. He even screams at the tower when he sees it. I wonder what's going on in his head. At times like this, we all have... The Royal Guard's performance-enhancing devices make things difficult for us. Ah, these scumbags. They're a disgrace to the soldiers of Arthurtain, relying on the device like that. The regulators should teach them a lesson. Please, destroy the performance-enhancing devices of the Royal Guards around the observatory, so we can show them what true strength is. At times like this, we all have to hmm. play our What about you, insane researcher? How dare you speak to me? Ha ha ha, ha ha, ho ho, I'm a genius. Dr. Graziel came up with the son of creation. Not for that, no. I didn't come up with such a terrible thing. I never wanted to sacrifice others for my own evolution. The description, please forgive me. I should have never even thought about it. No, this is not my fault. It's all because of Bergstrom's devilish research. I studied to make everyone happy for honor. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo! Um. Yeah. Oh, gods, you say that old man is Dr. Graziel? Ah, gods, I saw him at the symposium once. He struck me as an extremely prideful man. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe the box he was carrying holds the secret. Can you check it? Sure. Uh, At times like this, we all have to play our roles. Uh, let's check the box. What's in the box? Yeah. Now what? Oh, we need to investigate both those boxes. And there's, of course, a triple box. Oh, there's. You say that this dude carried all of this? Dear Technologist Kreis, Dr. Grazio's theory is definitely applicable to the Verdantia project. I checked with Dr. Seville, who says that Graziel is, uh, or Grazil is ambitious and narcissistic. It shouldn't be too difficult to steer him towards our goal. If Dr. Bergstrom's remnant of power can be embedded in the Son of Creation, we can create an evolved life form that's beyond anything we've even imagined before. Dr. Grazier has begun to oppose the Son of Creation project. In his words, this project is too extreme and demands too much sacrifice. Foolishness. Hmm, this is hard to understand. Information is fragmented, but I think I can put it together. It's a Doctor's Son of Creation theory. I've heard his presentation before. The idea is to create a powerful cluster of energy and use it to force evolve its uh, surroundings. Uh, it's what the Verdant is based on. But the Doctor went extreme by including people as targets for the forced evolution. We never wanted to suck the life out of people to evolve minds. Uh, looking at this, I can understand why he lost his mind. What a terrible project. Verdantia has to be stopped at all costs. Hmm, I can't believe the old man was saved. Uh, we saved as Dr. Graziel. He and Dr. Bergstrom were among the most intelligent people in Arthurtine. 
were. <laughs> the Vedantir must be truly unspeakable to unhinge a person this way. I know before it had to be stopped, but now I think I finally understand. This can't be allowed to continue. Inspector, let's go. Let's go. And what else got sold? Another journal and another epic tale thing. Perfect. Uh, the... But it didn't manage to reach the threshold of 8,000 coin or gold in this case. Just quite sad. Right. Uh... Hey. Okay, we got one thing. Let's destroy that stuff. Need to get closer so I can at least get a little bit of extra damage on it. Um, is it the... No, I need to be destroyed Royal Guards. Where are they? Um, there's a Royal Guard. There are a few more. So, let's do this. 3, 2, 1, move, missile! There we go. So, quest completed, and one of those things is now down here. Where does it go? Rizza Falls, somewhere in this area. Um... I'm looking for this kind of zigzag kind of down here. It's down here, alright. Oh yeah. What kind of laser beam thingy is this? Hey. Let's defeat a few more of them. Uh, that could be it. Tank missile! Right, uh, there are two of them somewhere down there. Do -do 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 -do. No, 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 don't defeat them before me. Don't defeat them before me, come on, don't do that, don't do it. Perfect. On to the next one. Center, we go. Anything in the chat? No. Something, something, finally. Wait. I think I know what's down here. Ah, that's another one of those teleportation points. Quite weird. The thing is, every time you defeat this creature, um, you seem to have gotten a decent amount of loot. But it's only the... Yeah, it's only the first few times. Like, it's a... You have to defeat four of those tanks. And each one of those four, at least for once, gives you bonus stuff. How unfortunate. <laughs> that, that you defeated the Royal Guard commanders. Echo. Remarkable. Indeed. The rest of them will be easy to take care of. We can round them up once reinforcements arrive. Did you hear, though? Something's going on in the Verdant here. Its power generators stop working all of a sudden. It's so quiet. I wonder if technology's Christ changed his mind about it. So, let's check on that. Also, I think I need to repair some of my things. Okay, so this is the Verdant here, then. Looks awesome. Ooh, needy. So, let's uh, repair maybe this thing up here. And the rest is basically bare. It's fairly basic, yes. The tower is operative! Hmm. Did the power stop flowing because they gathered enough energy to activate the tower? I think so. Now what? We're inside. Uh, we can use the gate controls to the iron gate, then north of the observatory. Be careful though. The royal guards know that too. Wait, is there Anton at the gate? Uh, this is going to be trouble. You'll handle things here. And can you break through it? Oh, of course I can. How unfortunate. How that unfortunate. That one's gone completely insane. One. Ah, oh, come on. That's not even worth it. And then, okay. 
just don't like having these notifications pop up all the time. Oh. Righty. Let's check on this guy and then see if we have to go to the western part of it or not. Uh, okay, so no. I have to nerf the western part. Western thing is part of it or not. I have to check that. Just a little check. The thing is, um, yeah, what did I say about looking around in this place? You shouldn't do that. Only do this every time uh, when there is a mission to do or so. And then you will be alright. But never just for looking around. Like, only looking around, of course. Uh, nothing up here. Could be stuff down there, though, too. Hmm. Anyway. Let's take a little look around. And more stuff got sold, of course. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Mm, before I kind of try to move the prices of the market a bit too much out of the golden zone, let's call it that. Equilibrium prices and so on. And if you do that, um, there's a tendency for the market to, well, go back to the midpoint. Mm, in this case, the midpoint is just made at the moment when it's created and there's no actual set midpoint. It just happens to be wherever the average is. But the thing is, um, what you can get out of this is that the average price is a nice indicator where there could be. And then uh, over the course of a few days or so, you can kind of get a nice idea how high it was and uh, how high it may be in the future, where it's headed, so to speak. Oh. Because every time you put things in here on the market, um, you can basically check the average price um, over the last five days. And that tends to be a tendency towards either higher prices or lower prices. Sometimes they are um, close together, uh, always somewhat the same value or whatnot. So, let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to enter it yet. I uh, want to know what I sold. More gold coins. And this is also kind of strange. Um, like you do put out a buy order, right? Um, but then the system just recalculates it. Uh, and then you have to put out the buy order multiple times, even if there's actually no change on the items themselves. And that's kind of weird. Okay, I can put out two more buy orders. Perfect. Anyway, uh, the thing that I wanted to say is this. No, that's not it. Mm. How do we have that? So let's say you look on this one here. This this is quite interesting. So uh, five days ago, it was as a maximum of 57. So something happened. Uh, and then there's a tendency for it to go down to five. And now uh, it's even at two, right? So if we click on that. Okay, that's the lowest price, not the uh, average price though. Um, but yeah, it's basically where most of those things are. But in this case, if the, you see like this huge bunch of units down here, then uh, you know that you can't really move them anywhere uh, in the foreseeable future. Especially when it's a bluish item, it's kind of like stuck at that. Um, and the whole thing will tend down to like one gold coin or so, if all of those items won't be bought. Or at least, after one day, the items will be put into people's inventory again, and then they have to put them into the market again. So. The cycle repeats. That's the iffy bit. Uh, anyway, because the supply will actually accumulate over the course of days. And uh, this one here is quite interesting. This one went up and then down and then now it's over here. But these are just items that you can get somewhere at the starting zone. And that's all fairly stable at free, but only because there's like thousands of those. Yeah. 
um, at the same value. So you kind of um, you can artificially lock the price at that point if you uh, if you sell an awful lot of those, um, so that there's a certain um, there are three gate controls. A certain Please price head stop to the happening. first one. You can dictate the prices this way if you want to. The inspector um, might be able to make it. You can finally only dictate came. the highest price it could be, uh, but not the lowest. So even if you try to sell it at that point, there may still be people who will sell it for less. And uh, that is actually what you don't want. So you want to break the incentive of people to sell it for less just by putting so many items up there that they think, ah, it's not worth it. And then the only items that remain on the market are your own. This is what you want. Absolute market uh, control. At least Good for job. one day. <laughs> now, go to the second uh, gate control. Ah, come on. Ooh, that's actually quite nice at breaking those stops. Sweetie, sweetie potato. Onwards. We have to defeat the space balloons. Like they do really look like space balloons. Like no one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> Second one is open. Activation successful. We only have one left. Oh. It just passes through. It doesn't take it as a as a real enemy. That's quite iffy. Whoa. Sending a bunch of rookies. Bastion clearly has much to learn. Struggle all you want. This fight is already decided. A new god will soon be born. The one true god. Interesting. Let's try to. Ah, no, no, no. Keep this fella somewhere in the center. Our damage is uh, the highest. And tank missile. Ah, only the fringes, sadly. It's flaming there. The Got it. Perish, leaving only the strong. <laughs> what went wrong? Hmm, that's also a quite interesting thing, right? Because what if the scaling of two different things are somewhat different? Then you don't know which was actually weaker or stronger. Because you only compared it at the moment of competition, let's say. The moment of interaction was the one we knew. Then this happened. Uh, because it could be that the weaker one grows stronger over time, but just got defeated first. But the stronger one was kept out at that moment, right? It could also just be that the um, thing is fairly straightforward and the strong one is always stronger no matter what. Uh, but sometimes the curves, uh, well, coincide. Not just once, but maybe multiple times. That's quite interesting. You so, won! I can't believe you defeated Anton! Amazing! Hmm. Thanks to you, the Verdantir's front gate has been opened. Now we can finally get into the Verdantir. An advanced party is waiting for you at the entrance to the tower. And go talk to the, 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 go talk to the party leader, Jansen, and enter the Verdantir together. Mm-hmm. 
So, let's see what this dungeon is all about. The doors to the Verdantir have opened thanks to you. Indeed. Good job, Inspector. Did you really defeat Anton at the Iron Gate? Anton used to be a member of the Regulators, you know. He was under Treasurer Sasha command. He became infatuated with the ideas of technologist cries and joined the Royal Guard instead. I'm sorry, I... No, we don't have time for a menacing. I guess I'm just nostalgic, since Anton's an old colleague. It's clear that we have to do, though. Uh, let's get inside the Verdant here. Uh, right. Hmm, bonus 13 points. Quite nice. this oh no oh it's something for uh, I'll still appear one more coco that's quite rare so now where could it be somewhere at the entrance just to piss me off maybe behind one of those blockade thingies like, look at this, it just goes straight on forward. Oh, it also goes up and down. Uh, and around the place. Okay. Okay. fight with all of those items in front of me. No, 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 no. Come on, get away, get away, get away. Ah, what was that? Stuff happened. And... Okay. So, let's see a little bit further. It's an instant heal if you pick this up. Quite nice. But it does not stack, though. That would have been nice. Ah, come on. Oh, traps. I hate them. There's a teleporter that gets you across the elevator if you mess up the first one. Oh, oh that's cool. Yep. There we go. 
do we defeat the sun? E. Ah, let's nuke it. Valer's poetry, yes, 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 yes. Let's call our train. I thought these rings would actually move. Mm. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Everything's moving forward, but the whole thing is going down. Don't look down, don't look down. So bloody high. So, let's see. Who is this time? Ooh, the twins. Looks like we can avenge ourselves, ass. What were you thinking, Jay? Kill him? You dare invade the Tower of God. <laughs> we'll make you learn your place. How You're long gonna regret you it? One blow. Disappear. One of them is already defeated. Needy. Tank missile. Oh no. It went outside there. That's not cool. Got it. Da -da 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 -da. Let's make ourselves a wee bit strong. Yeah. Why? I need to look at the firepower every time. I want to know when it actually resets. It's not cool. Oh, there's a biggie. Ooh, ha. No, 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 no. I need to get away from me. I need to get away. 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 And trigger the next healing potion. Come on. Two more seconds. Alright, now I'm good. And forward. Alright. Whew. Almost backfired. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Goodness, the potions aren't strong enough. Okay. That's kind of my fault, I uh, still use the old ones. What's it called? Major Potion. 104. Okay. Slowly but surely. There we go. We are at the end of the orange. Once I am here, I think the firepower goes down again, doesn't it? No, no, it doesn't. Okay. So how did I actually lose it all the time? Do -do 
That was much quicker than expected. Much, much quicker. <sighs> so, let's see. Do I need to interact with anything else? No, just get onto the platform. Do the last boss fight, yes. Isn't it beautiful? I the don't power see of creation in our hands. The Verdantir shall usher in a new world. A clean slate. No more gods, no more demons, just us. It's no use trying to stop me. My research is complete. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Tank. Missile. Tank. Missile. Tank. Missile. So then, Krause. Let's defeat the fella. Actually, can I just... Uh... Nope. I have to get rid of his pets first. reach our true potential to save it and verdant is the key behold the power of evolution the power of the gods is ours <laughs> With this lot of them gathers energy, summon underlings, exhaust the gorge. Uh, Alright. Ah, bollocks. Need to get to the maximum of the meter. Really close. There we go. Oh, come on. Invulnerability is cheap. of Septrum. Orthotine. Swept away by the darkness. Even the gods could not defeat the demons. I knew then what I had to do. Create a new god. It's the only way to protect the city. My lovely gray city abandoned by the gods. But I failed. 
The future is lost. There's still a strange aura over there. What's going on? We did get decent loot though. So, another... Wait a minute. This string goes over here. Uh, 37. Yes. Well, uh, that's pretty decent. So, let's take this one, this one, and the remaining epics. One, two, and three. One, two, and dismantle. Breaks. Yeah, now I know what to do with those stones that I don't need. I just dismantled them. <sighs> but I want to use them for other things. Right, return to stern. Wait, what? Now? No, 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 no. We're not going to stern. We're going out of here first. Uh, and uh, once we're out of the dungeon, we're going to explore the rest of the area. And then there's probably another domain we need to go next. Um... Because there's still something to do. We still haven't found the parts of the arcs that we are here in the first place. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Where's this thing? Uh, that was down here again. Uh, and this one was yeah at the junction. Um, that's down there. This one doesn't really work. So, I have to go down there. This port over here? No. Um, actually... Yes, I can teleport from here. Then I'm going the other way around. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm going to do that. Also, wait a minute. Is there a connection to the next area? Yes, the red sands is the next one. I think. Oh, is it? Yes. At times like this... Kind of weird that those two areas are connected. But there's Todd Bridge in between. Yeah. What are those wormholes all good for? Let's look at this. What if I stand too long inside this thing? Does it teleport me somewhere? No. Oh, look at that. Ah, now I get it. It's It doesn't have a use or anything. It's just... Uh, a sand pit that constantly loses sand. Ah, come on. So many nice ruiny things. Come on. Ah, there's so many potential ruins that you could explore in here. Let's check out the northern place here. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, no rocks. Ah, they found another entry. And what have we found so far? No special boss yet. Ah, nice. Hey, you can get hit if you're on a horse, right? You can just not call the horse as long as you get hit. <laughs> it's so weird. Ah. Oh, wait. I just couldn't interact with it because someone else called it, that's why. Hmm, you can activate engravings through different ways. No, 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 ah, bollocks. Triggered the tank missile too early. Yeah. Whoa. So, 
Let's get out of here. I think you still lose health if you're in this uh, window. It's not 100% safe. Ah, right, now I can go south. Wait a minute. Um, let's barrage again. Didn't I? Ah, one more. Yes, one more to unlock it. So barrage. Yes. This thing. The rank of your engraving effect is now increased. This is the one that I don't need, really. Needy, needy, pity. Hmm. Alright, what got sold? More journals again. Thank you. So, this is uh, where the next area is. And then I have to check this part here as well. Wait a minute. Yeah. Bit of luck, there's a transition between this one and this other part down here. It's just hidden and you can't get real access to it. Come on. Whoops. Nothing there. Yeah, like, come on. Ah. Move over. Oh, that's a special one. Nice. So, how many more? Uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. But all of them are, of course, not in the area that I am at right now. And this is probably... Oh! Not another sand pit. Hey, Moko. Pick it up faster, pick it up fast. No, nope, nope, not enough time. Damn it. Every time. And there's one domain, wow. right? You look like there was only one Mokoko inside it, but I didn't manage to get it. Oh, this is how ridiculous this is. Oh, okay, I could actually pick up some of those grassy things. Good, now we are on the best way towards the entrance of the last little dungeon. And then I just have to figure out what this uh, treasure map is. Oh, wait a minute. This treasure map might be something completely different. Maybe I have to open it inside a device, like the Atlas device thing in Path of Exile. That might be it. So there's nothing down here, I think. Uh, except for this fella again. And yeah, I definitely fought this creature before. What? And all the way. So, where? Oh, there's a Moko. Right there. <laughs> So how many do I have? Four out of ten. Hmm. Yes. And the remaining ones can only be found if you find secret entrances all over, right? So it's not as easy as you may. Oh wait, there's 
Move. What? Oh, that's cool. This is one of those secret parts, isn't it? There's another one up here. Uh, now I can climb up again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What did I say? Two of them almost in every secret part. Get to be kidding me. So, and from here, I just have to climb uh, further down. Ah, it only goes forward, it doesn't go back. Right, now, where is the uh, hidden dungeon that I was looking for? Over here, okay. It's under this thing. What's this? Fuse gems. Okay. And the more you fuse them, actually it would be better to fuse gems with different negative effects. So they don't combine and get stronger. Oh wait, I have to get up here. Tank missile. <laughs> so we got that stuff done, and now I can actually go back to stern and see what's going on. Um, oh wait! Can I teleport like this? Stern, stern, stern is. It says, go back to stern, doesn't it? I just don't know where exactly I need to go to. Maybe to the north, or maybe I need to trigger something, who knows. <laughs> so, let's see. Once I'm there, there's probably another cutscene playing, but like, yeah, we, uh, an enemy, da 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 da, and someone else comes up. Krauss's rebellion has been defeated. Mm -hmm. Chairman Bastion has lifted the martial law order. The crisis is over. Hmm. All right. That was um, uneventful. Just like that. No twist, no nothing, basically. Like we were introduced to the bad guy really early on. And then basically, almost nothing happened afterwards. It's kind of weird. Okay, wait a minute. This is uh, blue stuff, which was the one that I wanted. Um, yeah, all out attack. Uh, uh, all out attack is somewhere at the bottom. Why can't it be sorted by name? It makes absolutely no sense. Welcome. Mm -hmm. You're here. We are faced with an unprecedented crisis. Again, as Kraus said, we are on our own now that the gods have forsaken us. But I don't agree with him that we have to sacrifice the weak to protect our team. We don't have to become gods ourselves. We'd be happy just being psychons, but more evolved than we are now. Why can't you be happy with that, Kraus? You're here. Yeah, now what? Uh, we got that stuff done, that stuff done. You're here. You're here, here, here. Yes, of course I'm here now. Sasha. As treasurer of Arthatine, I offer you our gratitude for stopping the Verdant here and saving us all. Yeah, you're welcome. I do not know why Kraus went astray. I blame myself for not seeing it sooner. Still, uh, we should never look back. We must f move forward to realize the dreams the three of us once shared, one step at a time. Strange to say, but the Kraus I knew and respected would want that. You're here. Mm. But he definitely saw an adversary much stronger than we see at As the administrator moment. of Arthatine and leader of the parliament, I extend our deepest gratitude. Mm. Thank you for helping us. Now, as they say, a deal is a deal. And we agreed to deal before all of this. Uh, indeed, now. What do you know about the Arg? Uh, yes, uh, we did agree to give you information about it in exchange for your help. We kept your end of the bargain. 
You could have abandoned us in the face of such a formidable enemy, but you didn't. I know I can trust you with the Ark. The Parliament of Arthurtine discovered Galatour's Ark quite by accident. The members of the Parliament came to believe that we were the chosen nation of the Ark. So Stern itself was built around the Ark in anticipation of a greater destiny, or at least a sign from the gods. In the end, though, no great sign came. The Parliament decided to hide the Ark and bury everything about it. For a very long time, the Ark has served as our silent witness. It watches our people from the Eye of Skeptrum, Stern's central plaza. Go there and tell him the Watcher, whose family has been taking care of the Ark for generations, is waiting for you. You're here. You're here, 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 here. Uh, anything in the city, though? Not yet. There's also no quicker way of uh, getting to... Go to the Eye of Skeptrum, the Watcher. Uh, oh, down here. Wait a minute. So the red sand thing seems to be a completely separate part of it. Very interesting. Or maybe the eye of the uh, septum is where we need to... What the? Need to go next, though. Let's see... Actually, this stuff has to be placed in our stash. But yeah, I'm gonna do that at the later point, not now. Oh, wait, uh, I can actually get rid of this notification. Right. Um, I, you can set a destination marker only in areas accessible by players. Yes. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh! <sighs> wait a minute. Um, I know that in Ultera. See that? Uh <laughs> gotta be kidding me. So see that? If I do this, it's not accessible. If I do this, oh this is accessible. Okay, wait. This is also accessible. Okay. So there's a certain wiggle room. You cannot do this, can I do this? You cannot do that. Uh you can do this though. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I actually thought that you might be able to use this uh, for scanning the map. But it's not as easy. <sighs> the administrator told me someone would be coming for the Ark. Indeed. Uh, my family was watched over, has watched over it for a long time. Strange to think I'll be the last. Uh, am I sad? Huh, I don't know. Uh, look at Stan. Uh, take a look around Arthur Teen. We've done all of this without help from the Ark. And I'll wager that Arthur Teen will continue to prosper even when it's gone. I think it's high time the Ark is used to fulfill its true purpose, whatever that might be. It's only gathering dust here. Here, as in, uh, here. Okay. The Eye of Skeptrum has watched over us Psychons as we've evolved into the race you see today. Kraus was fond of saying the gods had abandoned us. But I believe the gods have not written us off just yet. And this Ark is the proof. So it was here all along. That's weird. Why was it here all the... And it was here in the main, like, energy chamber, it seems. It's kind of weird. Was it used for powering the city then, or... What's going on? Oh wait, there's a storage keeper. Um... Let's take this and move it up here. Oh! So... Once it is locked, you can move it by hand, um, but it keeps its locked status, which is quite cool. Quite cool. Uh, this one can be placed down here, and like that. Right, 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 right. So, onwards. Hmm, why do we need to ba talk to Bastion again? That's quite weird. 
Hmm. So this was actually arc number three. Wait a minute. Welcome. Um, so I need four more arcs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. You're here. What will you do now? Good question. I have some place else to go. Uh, yeah, Trixian. Will wonder never cease? The Eye of the Red Desert. Behold, Agaton, the Ark of Prescience. I only pray the future it sees is an auspicious one. So, anything? Nah. I heard you approaching. Nothing. Oh, wait. <gasps> no! Finally. Okay, please take the small token of appreciation. Hope it helps. Uh, the Ark. The light of creation has existed since the birth of this world. After the chain war, the Ark was split into seven pieces before it disappeared, forgotten over the years. However, the demons still remember that. It's a powerful power great enough to defeat even the Ark Demon Kazaros. All the demons must be after it. No pray. Oh, Song of Temptation. Interesting. And it also, yeah, <laughs> strangely enough, uh, gets you more. You can only play one song, I think. Yeah, song count one. Hmm. And now the song count is at is at all. I've hey. been waiting for you. Wait a minute. Uh betrays, 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 betrays. Uh Calvaris. Nope. All of the rest is just general stuff. I've been waiting for you. Hmm. I had a dream that seemed to last an eternity. The air cracked open and suddenly the white desert turned red. Even though it was just a dream, it terrified me to no end. I can't leave Trixie in to check on this though. Please, I want to make sure that was just a dream. Would you go for me? Sure. Where do we need to go? Go to Salent Hill. Um, Do I know that area? I think I know where that is. Salent Hill, wasn't this? A yes. Somewhere in here. Yeah, I can't teleport because... Hmm. Uh, not there yet. So, where's the next area, actually? It could be in Krona. So, what I'm gonna do... Oh, God, how far away I am. Okay. Um, I could go all the way down here. Check on this. Uh, and then I... Uh, I'm going probably towards Vern or so. Hmm. Let's see. I uh, can't talk to her again. Let's just go back. Ooh. Now, the weapon fits our... Our style much more nice before it was kind of edgy yeah. red and uh, black and now it's beautiful white so bastion let's talk to the you're fellow. back mm -hmm. what was that light just now yeah teleportation you went to Trixian, so it really exists an entirely different dimension the arc will be safe there i'm sure i imagine you're on the hunt for more arcs correct then your next destination should be Vern. Vern is a land, adventure, and possibilities. The perfect place for an Ark or two to be hiding. The region Queen Aelin might know something about them. Thank you for everything you've done. Uh, and good luck finding the Arks. It's clear you are destined for great things. You're here. Oh. What about Sasha? Matters will become quite hectic in Arthur Teen from now on. With him gone, Bastion and I need to work harder than ever before. Say, I don't suppose you'd like to work with us for a while longer. Uh, 
Yeah, I do have time to help. Yes. Ooh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. You're an adventurer of many talents. I'm so glad to have you with me for a while longer. Now, Inspector, as leader of the Parliament of Arthurine, I have an official request for you. Since Klaus passed away, the technologist position has gone unfilled. The duties of the technical branch via the Hall of Transcendence are temporarily split between Bastion and myself. While transferring documents to our branches, we've discovered that several confidential documents have gone missing. I believe Kraus hid them somewhere. Anything the technologist wrote should be made public. We must regain trust. Now, please research Stern for Kraus's hidden records. My agents are, have narrowed down a few likely locations for you. Check Kraus's file boxes here. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Da -da -dee, da -da -da -doo. So, oh! This is just all over the place now. Good. So, let's claim the rewards of this one. Burn and burn and even more burn. And then. Oh! Almost about to get 50. Ah, this is why everybody has this motherboard. A uh, motherboard. Hoverboard. The thing that moves. Interesting. Fancy schmancy. Ah, uh, now I know why everybody's opening the boxes. Um, report on Chaos Gates. Years of research have made it possible to re recognize the signs of a Chaos Gate, but recognition alone isn't enough to stop it. Currently, the only known method to destroy a Chaos Gate is to cross its threshold and defeat the commander of the Demon Legion on the other side. Alternately, uh, some Chaos Gate closes themselves after multiple demons pour out. We've decided to call these limited Chaos Gates. The rest of the tanks feature strange and nonsensical characters. Technologists crowds. The organization conducted illegal research on orphans. It kidnapped throughout Arthurine. The parliament turned a blind eye, allowing Apex to escape any meaningful punishment. The organization connection to the parliament is stronger than I thought. Bastion is angry that Apex has not been dissolved and its conspirators arrested. But the only thing we can do at this moment is ensure the surviving orphans remain far from Apex considerable reach. One of the orphans in particular named Murray is so brilliant and gifted that I have decided to take her under my wing. One day I'll bring all of this into the light. Apex will not go forever unpunished. The rest of the text uh, features strange and nonsensical characters. Interesting. This Christ fellow seems to be pretty okay, except for the whole evolution part. The parliament has a cancer, eating it away from the inside. Too many of its members are selfish and greedy. Here, and night is like day. The more power they cling to, the more corrupt they are. To be honest, most members are scum. That said, I don't know where Bastion stands. He seems righteous and honest, but is he? The Apex case has given me leverage against the Senators. They are at least fearful of public opinion and have decided to give me control over machine management nationwide. The cancer must be removed as soon as possible. The rest of the text features strange and nonsensical characters. An awful lot of nonsensical characters, though. About the Verdantir plan. I've changed the ultimate aim of the Verdantir from reforestation to selective evolution of the Psykins to transcendence. The uh, social structure must crumble and be rebuilt such that no evil goes unpunished. The Skeptrum revealed a vision to me. Uh, only darkness and death await us in the future. Arctim and Kazros may awaken any time. There's no time for hesitation or half measures when it comes to my people creeping corruption. Much as it pains me, it is time to thin the herd. I must ensure no child shares the same fate as Murray. The data set is complete. I have selected those who deserve to survive. Every one of them is strong of body and benevolent of spirit. With help from the Verdant Year, they will evolve into the true Saiken heirs. Whoa. A note on my personal guard. The strange characters in the um, previous four records can be combined, spelling out a new passage. I must form a new organization for this plan. Most of the public will not understand. We must operate in the shadows, at least for now. 
I have shared my ultimate aim with my closest confidants, Anton, Seville, Eth, Jay, and of course, Murray. Anton advocates for us all to undergo relentless improvement. I agree. For now, we can focus on that goal, but also recruit the additional people we need. They do not have to be perfect. They do not have to be on the list. They are to be viewed as tools with the skills and talent we need. When we, the time comes, only the selected few will get the chance to evolve. In evolution, there is purpose. Technologist Kraus. Welcome. Hmm. Excellent work. Now, let me check these records immediately. Such a sad tale. These records of a window in Kraus's thoughts. But, of course, nothing could justify the choice he made. Who gave him the right to choose who lives and who dies? It's monstrous. No matter his so-called logic, Bastion should read these records as well. Please, show them to him. What's going on? Hmm. So these are the documents that Kraus said. I was aware of the corruption among the senators for a long while. I had been searching for concrete proof to take action. Kraus tried to shoulder this burden on his own. Uh, that was his biggest mistake, though. This wouldn't have happened if he had reached out, if he had sought the help he needed. Tragic. Kraus was right about one thing, though. The corruption has to end. And I know I can achieve that with your help. Let's proceed with the operation. Go to Sasha. She can brief you on our plan. You're here. Finally, it begins. According to my investigation, Apex is still up to no good. An anomaly... A anonymous, anonymous letter was sent to Hoyt News, exposing Apex's recent suspicious activities. The time for action is now. You know Hoyt Editor-in-Chief, don't you? I'd like you to find out more about this anonymous tip and look into the case. Express interest, but don't tell them about our involvement. We are going to find definitive, defini definite, definitive, definite proof. Da -da -da -da. Specific proof of corruption in the parliament and solve this once and for all. So, wait a minute, uh, this one goes onto the seas again, and uh, Hoyt News is over there. Who in blazes wrote this article? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, wait. A uh, long time no see. I've heard you were instrumental in solving this case. So, as long as you're here, how'd you like to have an exclusive interview with us? Uh, you want to know about the anonymous tip? Why do you want to investigate the story? Uh, you've got that journalist glint in your eyes. Well, alright, I owe you. I'll let you in on it. But I want an exclusive interview with you after this. Promise. Talk to Roberti over there. He's in charge of that story. They say there's only one truth. Oh, but. she, not he. Anyway, joint investigation uh, with a famed inspector. It would be my honor. You know, some people in the industry call us a trashy tabloid, but I beg to differ. As if they always stick to the truth in their high-toned hit pieces, the newspapers are just as biased as, as biased as ours, more so. And to prove it, I'm going to swipe the rock right out from under them and solve this case myself. Mark my words. We in agreement? Thanks. Let's get started. This is the anonymous letter I told you about. Please, take a read. You know, Apex didn't stop conducting its experiments, right? It's just being smarter and more secretive about doing it. Now it's even running an illegal operation in Stern, disguised as a charity organization. We have to reveal the truth before it's too late. It's up to us to save the kids being experimented on and punish anyone who has been looking the other way while Apex does all these terrible things. Uh, did you read it? Yes, I did. Quite a story from that anonymous informant. They must not have complete trust in us, though, because they also went to certain times to tip them off in person, but the times didn't take them seriously, and that means now's our time. We need to meet with this tipster and launch an investigation. Smell a world shaking exclusive. Oh, the tipster is uh, on the outside. Or is it maybe on the uh, underground areas Watch of the city? For my heavy work. Have you read the new it? Steel no. Rose book? Tap it. It is the inside the tavern. One more line. I just need to write one more 
Who are you? Uh, what? You want me to tell you more about what's in my anonymous letter? In detail? Uh, but I only sent it to right news. Sheesh, ah, who knew that a sleazy tabloid would actually do serious investigation? Journalism. <laughs> I'll talk. Uh, Apex is using children for test subjects in an illegal facility. Every grisly detail is written down in a secret ledger. You have to save those kids and find that. The ledger even contains the news names of the companies and the members of parliament who support Apex. That facility is one uh, on the same street as the Hall of Transcendence. A mercenary named Vizelay can give you direction. Tell him that Sleeping Beauty sent you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have like hidden names and stuff like that. Sweet. So this was uh, over there, New Year's Tavern. Wait, what? Yeah. Why does it go towards New Year's Tavern? That's quite weird. And something else got sold, as usual. Onwards. Totrich was the capital before Stern? Another Chaos Gate has appeared. What can I do for you? Hmm, Sleeping Beauty sent me. Ah, Sleeping Beauty. That makes this easier. You're interested in the sponsors of the Sunrise Orphanage, right? Something suspicious is going on, that's for sure. There's an organization listed as the orphanage is sponsored, but it doesn't look legitimate. The address it's registered to is fake, and there's no one listed on its board. Tremendous amounts of money have been transferred from this shell company account, though. Plus, right around the time the company was established, orphans started going missing. It all adds up to something rotten, big time. Would you agree? I was curious enough to trace the flow of the sponsor's money and located a building that they might have rented. I've alerted the factory inspector in charge of the building on that street. It would be a good idea if you see him. And Rodo is somewhere down there. We're just stepping across the sea from one teleporter to the next. Uh, quite neat. So then. Deloo, 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 deloo. Wait, uh, trade skills, processor. Is there a gem cut? No, wait a minute. There's an alchemist. And there's a, what was a stash? General merge. Ah. There's the guy. Inspector Rodo. Then we meet again. Was it you who wanted to look into the company behind the Sunrise Orphanage? Ooh, okay. You scared me for a minute. My superiors keep telling me in no uncertain terms to drop it every time I bring up this issue. So I decided to take matters into my own hands when that mercenary shared some of the same concerns I was having. Seeing you here, I'm glad sticking my neck out hasn't totally been in vain. You'll see the company if you follow this road. Now go, but be careful. Uh, one missing child can now be really they are not even bound in here oh, thank you as if they're shackled or something I don't see any shackles oh wait we can investigate further test records all right read the secret ledger uh oh wait uh, this thing Okay, then there's a certain device. Ah, welcome, information manager. That was it? Okay. Now, share your findings with the Rebedi. Rebedi, 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 over there. Hey, money. Rebedy, 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 rebo. How many pages do we ever ever say there's only one truth? Mm -hmm. So the anonymous informant told us the truth. I can sca scarcely believe it by the gods. Are the children okay? Good. At least there's one ray of hope here. Writing about this is one thing, but saving the kids should obviously come first. Report to the editor-in-chief as quickly as you can. We need to publish this story right away. 
Hmm, I can tell by the look on your face that you found something, didn't you? Show me. Ah, uh, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. We need to tell the world about this right away. And to think that the rich and powerful have been supporting such a despicable operation. Our article will shake all of Stern to its core. Now, this is explosive. We know that even the executives of the Stern Times were involved in this. Wonder if that sly fox Angela knew. No, for all of her faults, Angela Gayton is not the type who get involved in something like this. For now, tell the information that we've found the secret ledger. Informant. Uh, and while you're at it, also tell Angela about this too. She's the editor-in-chief of the Stern Times. She deserves to know and to figure out the future of her newsroom. Who in blazes wrote this article? Watch out for my heavy walk. Have you read the new Steel Rose book? The deadline is today. One more line. I just need to write one hmm. more line. You saved the children, and you found the secret ledger. Indeed. And that's wonderful. I sure made the right decision sending Malada to Hoyt News. I cannot believe the executives at uh, certain times were supporting Apex. I just knew someone high up there didn't want their newspaper releasing the story. Enough. The truth Wrap really depends on who you're talking to. Mm, I'm busy. What? You want me to read that now? Ah, this can't be true. No way. Our executive's board has been supporting Apex's illegal research. I can scarcely believe it, but evidence is evidence. Uh, I uh, took pride in guiding Stern's most respected newspaper. Truth in all things is our motto. Once this goes public, our reputation will be in tatters. But we can't hide the truth. We have to live up to our ideals. We will reveal it ourselves and let our readers decide our fate. Thank you for letting us know, pardon. Uh, Hoyt Editors-in-Chief asked you to tell me this. That sleazy snake in the grass. Then again, I suppose we are both bound by our passion for the truth. We did the right thing. But don't you dare let him gloat. We'll work hard to earn our readers' trust back. And I'll be back to beating him in total readership. Ha. <laughs> Uh, oh, but don't you dare let him... No, wait a minute, I got this one. Uh, that's weird. Okay. One more line. I just need to write one more Enough. line. Wrap it up. The deadline is today. Wait a minute. Okay, you cannot interact with uh, this one again. Let's talk to the other... Feather. Have you read the new Steel Rose book? Watch out for my heavy walker. So, and in here we have sold another helm, even more helms, and some poetry, and a wanted poster. Nice. Okay, we're halfway there. Who in uh, blazes wrote this article? I want to reach a thousand, at least. It would be nice with a little profit to reach 10,000 though, but uh, that may be on the high end. So, don't hold me hand, right? Ah, uh, that sounds about right. Well. It'll be hard for us if the Stern Times falls. We'd be the only ones, but by the way, this is for you. I scrounged up those files from a couple of corrupted lawmakers and their top secret documents about the core SG-7. It's a new power generator developed by Technician Kraus, and it seems the lawmakers stole the data, but files like these would mean a lot of treasure. Uh, a lot to treasurer Sasha. Sasha, 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 Sasha. There's no other side mission here, though. Welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, welcome. Thanks to your sensational article. Apex and their supporters are concerned. Cornered, not concerned. Also concerned, maybe, but mostly cornered. They're already being arrested and investigated, based on what you gave us. With this, I hope we can cut the harmful ties between politics and business once and for all. We couldn't have done it without you. You want me to take this? Core SG7? I can't believe Kraus was developing something like this. This is a really efficient magic generator. To think this was found among the lawmakers' files, 
I guess they were thinking of keeping it for themselves. Well, I promise you one thing. We'll make sure those fires do some good. Ah, uh, that was uh, at least an interesting inn. But uh, there's still one more area that I have to check. And it's not here. Um, it's the Red Sand Desert for some reason. Oh, look at that. Bartender in the tavern. Children's laughter. Hmm. Why is that one over there? And then there's uh, another quest over here. Wait, what is going on? Um, like there's uh, the mercenary, Sandy Path. And then there's Sotridge. And. Did I really miss out on those people? Looks like it though. Looks like it. Okay. So let's check up on Sotridge. I want to know what these side missions are, man. What are those? Really weird. They say a junk Actual shop's opening where the echo is very the hero you. You're back. Stopping the demons comes first. So, what do you want? Hey, you're the mercenary from the Echo Mercenary Office, right? Are you free to take a contract right now? The Resort Orphanage wants to hire you for a special mission. It's a state-run facility in Todridge. Filtry is the new head of the facility, an ex-militia man. He's been asking for you specifically. What's the contract? Well, the rumors of our exploits reach Todridge, and the orphans want to meet their hero. You can make their dreams come true. Uh, over there, alright. Somebody outside. The hero of Totrich is returned. Treasurer Sasha is from Totrich. I shall cherish you. Mother. Royal guards, regulators, they're all. Now uh, is the time to unite against the demons. As for the whereabouts of the captain, were they when we need This is our territory. Uh, interesting toad. <laughs> There we go. Virgie, hello, Inspector. Do you remember me? Uh, maybe? <laughs> oh, I see. My name is Virgie, and I was in the militia before. I mean, Inspector, I worked with you on the Bergstrom case. We only met briefly, so it's understandable that you don't remember me. Well, it's not specifically you. I have something against names, generally. I've heard many great things about you since then, and I'd like to say I uh, admire you very much. I retired Specialist. from the militia. A while ago and became the house father of this orphanage thank you so much for accepting my request our children would be happy to see you you are their great hero uh, you have the trust of administrator bastion and treasurer sasha and are the most famous of all mercenaries represented by the akon mercenary office everyone admires you inspector these children are here for various reasons they may not look it, but their spirits are low. Even so, each and every one of them has a dream. I'd appreciate it if you talk with them and give them useful advice. Ah, oh, Inspector. Uh, you really care. Nice to meet you. Uh, your friend was Treasure Sasha, right? How are things at her office? I want to work for her branch eventually. In our 13, you can be successful regardless of your age, gender or background. As long as you're good at what you do. I want to follow in Sasha's footprints and inspire other people like you. Sasha also grew up in this orphanage and is now one of the three leaders of parliament. I can be right here. Uh, I can be like her, Specialist. right? Um, is this a proof? Encourage. Encourage. Where is it? Encourage. Encourage. Over here. Gambate. <laughs> uh, what about you? Ah, oh, wow, it's the inspector. It's really the inspector. Wow, how can I become as strong as you? I want to become a famous mercenary like you one day. You're awesome. You're strong. And I want to make lots and lots of money and give it to Vertry. <laughs> Train every day to become strong. Uh, look, this is my special skill. Hyper, ultra, tornado, punch. Am I strong enough? Uh, surrender. Okay, wait a minute. Surrender, 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 surrender. This one. Hmm. Now let's uh, listen to Rene. <laughs> oh, hello, Inspector. It's really nice to see you. My name is Rini. I want to be a chef oh, one day. I've always admired you, and when I heard you were coming, I decided to cook something for you. Would you like to eat my cake? Ah, it's pretty, isn't it? Uh, let's taste the thing. 
<laughs> Why do we say no? Uh, why can't we say agree? Honest answer, no. Oh, we cannot say an inhonest uh, answer. Okay, wait a minute. We have to go for deny, I think. Um, deny, sorry, sad. No, 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 no answer said. Giggle, applause, play polite. Uh, deny, there we go. That's the one. Slash no would have also worked, I think, if you write it down in chat, though. So, you really think it's the prettiest cake ever, but you don't like the taste? Oh, no. I thought it was my masterpiece. Maybe I'm not good at cooking. Both my parents were germ cutters, and neither of them were good at cooking. <laughs> I wanted to bake the cake that my parents and I used to eat at a restaurant. I guess I'm just not good enough. Well, don't give up. Uh, definitely. Thank you. Okay, I won't give up. I'll practice until I can make my food both pretty and delicious. Thank you so much, Inspector. I keep trying. Shuan. Uh, are you Inspector? Yes. For real? Did you come to the visitors? Uh, I'm Shuban. I want to be an actor. I've got many friends. Watch. Uh, hello, I'm Schnell. Uh, I like the Inspector too. Stern is such a beautiful place, right? One day I shall make my name know ev known everywhere in the city. Shuban and I can play any role. Shuban can even imitate a girl. Amazing, right? Uh, encourage. Specialist. Encourage this one. About the... Right. Are you trying to cheer me up? Uh, thank you so much. Shaban will be grateful too, right, Shaban? Uh, thank you for cheering up. <laughs> us up, Inspector. I've got my friends aside from Schnell, but they won't come out right now. <laughs> it can be anyone. Anyone. Uh, thank you, Inspector. You've made the children so happy. Gods know they need it. They're not originally from Risen Orphanage, you see. They've traveled from other orphanages to stay uh, here anyway. It was recently uncovered that a uh, pharmaceutical company by the name of Apex was donating drug food to orphanages, and they saw the children as an opportunity for free research subjects to test their wares. And these children are the survivors, but now Parliament is covering up Apex's crime. There's even word that Apex is attempting to silence the children before they can further spread their story. Technologists Kraus and Treasurer Sasha were originally from Risen Orphanage. Uh, they've done their best to keep the children from harm. Well, they are under our watchful eyes. Apex won't succeed in taking their lives. The children are safe here. Uh, if you're not busy, could you come to the party today? We are celebrating the birthday of several children, so I want to make sure dinner is a feast to remember. Children, would love to have you attend. I'll get ready for the party. In the meantime, could you go to the Gibson antique shop and pick up the Cham Kuri I've ordered? What on earth is a Cham Kuri? And where's the shop that we need to go to? To the north! To the north! Whoa. And there's even more soul. A little bit of that, a little bit of... Oh, come on! Niva's hand... Uh Expired. Jesus. That's not cool. Um. But I did place another Niva's hand in here. Yeah, recently for 18. I think the amount was actually the same. Problem is just the cost is too high. I need to get rid of Niva's hand as well. Where is it? Uh. Somewhere at the beginning, isn't it? No. Oh. Niva's hand. Am I blind? Where? There. Okay, what do we have here? Actually, 18 would be a decent price. Yeah, that should actually work. So. I shouldn't. What? 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 Why didn't it? Huh? What are they doing? Anyway. Let's get onto the market this in, is our uh, territory. after we finish that. For the whereabouts of now is the time to unite against the demon. Royal guards, regulators. <laughs> <sighs> Specialist. Hmm. <sighs> Give oh, us an antique shop. You. Oh. Again. Ah, oh my. Who is this? If it isn't the Nefari, like and subscribe. There, you are here to pick up the Shamkuri for Risen Orphanage. The children will be so happy. Oops, what am I saying? 
It'll be a while before I can serve anyone that jump curry. My cooker is an antique and its temperature controller doesn't work properly. I asked Orn to fix it. He should be fish finished by now. He's very skillful, so I'm sure there weren't any problems. Hopefully. But there are, of course. If you're talking about that antique cooker, it's already fixed. Is something wrong? Uh, stop staring at me. Do I have something on my face? No? Alright then. Do you know Orn? I've never seen him so animated and talkative. But you think you've seen him before, but you can't remember where? <laughs> I hope it comes to you. He hasn't been here long. I found him covered in wounds and he completely lost his memory. Let me know if you remember anything about him. Poor guy. Anyway, now it's time to use my antique cooker. And let's cook some jump curry. Let's get cooking. And back to Viltry. Uh, Special. Mother. Royal guards, regulators, they're all. The now is the time to unite against the demon. As for the whereabouts, were they when we needed? Oh. oh wow, he gave us two roasts. Mr. Rubish is so kind. We can make one jam curry for each table. The children will be so happy. Well, Headmaster Viltry made today my birthday. birthday. One goes over here and... <laughs> it's oh, my birthday two, today. It's everybody's birthday. Now, thank you Inspector for making good memories with the children. You're welcome. Born wants to meet Specialist. you. Ooh. Interesting. So there's a follow-up mission for that too, it seems. Wait a minute. Uh... Yeah. It says Orn wants to meet you, but I don't know who... where that might be. It's not understood, Captain. They when As for the whereabouts of... Now is the time to unite against the demon. Guards, also not sure regulators. on the map. Hmm. Specialist. Ah, there we go. Now we can do more report stuff. I've been waiting. Hmm, let's show some emotes here. Mm, nothing here, though. Let's claim this, and we are good to go. So every time when there's a person in need of a meeting, and this is basically what it means. Right. Um, there was Rizzo Falls somewhere over here. Hey, more stuff got sold. Yeah. So. Oh. How do I get down here now? Do we really have to get around? Looks like it. Oh, this episode is long. Oh, there's also another enemy. Da da dee, da 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 doo, da da dee, da 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 dee, da 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 dee. Nice. Best way to get additional potion. Like any other enemy is just there for you to get some random picks sometimes. But these, these are special. Alright. Let's do it in a different way, um, because this one is right next to the red sand. Let's do the mission with Mercenary Wrecker in the next one, and also the red sand and a little bit of sailing. Until next time then, like and subscribe of course as usual, and uh, ta-ta!